if the apocalypse comes, beat me. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> um, okay. Shall we? We shall. Let's shall. Let's shall together. In every generation. <laughs> I love when you make that. <laughs> it makes you happy. Okay. Oh. 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 I, I have so many stories. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Sh- do you want to... Do you want to share one? Yeah. No? <laughs> no, it was just funny because Blake didn't realize this morning in bed, though. He was, like, watching fucking Taylor Swift TikTok where, like, it was, I literally, like, it was the worst way to wake up because, like, she had a concert last night and it was, like, all these people the screaming because she was announcing 1899 or 1989 or whatever it's called. 1899. 1989, the album. Did she's, she like, announcing it. Yeah, but she's, like, doing her fucking re-recording of it and releasing the Taylor's version of it, which is cool or whatever, but, like, I just don't hey, care. who asked? That's what, I, well, not you. <laughs> and definitely not me this morning at 8 a.m. And so anyway, but it's funny because Blake was watching that, it and he was, crazy. oh, the crowd was asking for it. The That's crowd crazy. was screaming for it, screaming and creaming for it. Anyways, and basically it was just funny because Blake did that face thing that like that girl does <laughs> without realizing it because he was watching it. And I was like, Blake, what are you watching? And he just goes, eh. and I was like, oh my God. Uh, that will like, always get me. It is so fucking funny. That girl's a national treasure and she wasn't she a really meme is. for long enough. Agree. Underrated memes. That is a good idea. Okay, catch we catch it on YouTube. Should we start? Fall 2023. Okay. <laughs> In every generation, a podcast is born. We are your slum slay slay slums. <laughs> and this is Hellmouth Homos. Welcome. Welcome aboard. I'm watching Buffy for the first time. Baze has watched it many a times. And we're uh, here to talk about it. Many a time. We are here to talk about talk it. Talk about it. That's the other thing about Ugly Betty that I'm, I'm watching Ugly Betty right now. And <laughs> the New York a- accents are so funny. Oh, I, love I love that. Them. I love that. I love a New York accent. I do too. Oh, it's so good. But um, we're in Sunnydale. We're in Sunnydale Does today. Does Sunnydale have an accent? No. Well, kind of California. California accent a little bit. Kind of. It's not very strong. It's not noticeable to me. Lingo, no. yeah, but not accent. True. The only accent I know is Daddy Giles. Well. Dials. He invent Dials. <laughs> <laughs> he invented accents. Dials has bars. Dial- <laughs> <laughs> Dials has... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dials has my horn. We are here to talk about Go Fish, or as not- I called it earlier... Big Fish. Big Fish. <laughs> Which is a weird movie. Which is a strange movie. And um, we were too young, apparently, too, when you watched that. Yeah. Too young. I didn't know it was Tim Burton. That makes a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. I've seen the musical adaptation of it, regrettably. Um, mm-hmm. Mm. And? Then it, I mean, I said regrettably. Oh. It was fine. It was good. It was fine. Was it on Broadway? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it was a Broadway Big, big Fish. It was a Broadway musical. Okay, I didn't well. see it on Broadway. I don't know. It's just like an. It's just go fish. fish. It's giving fish. She's so fish. She's fishy. <laughs> um, Me anytime Cordy says anything. <laughs> she's fishy. <laughs> she's a little fishy. I love this woman. Woman. Um, she is woman. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, before we get into tarot. The episode Go Fish was aired on May 5th, 1998, <gasps> written by <laughs> Ellen Hampton and David Fury and directed by David Semmel. This this episode is one of the most Teen Wolf episodes I've seen. That's why I know we had to talk about it, because I think you'd have something oh to say. Oh, my God. It's that like is very so creature nice. feature. Is, I vibes. love that. I know. Yes. Me too. I actually really liked it on this rewatch. It, I usually don't, but I really liked it. I loved it. It was yeah, one it was of my fun. favorite creatures of the week type of episodes. It was very fun. It was so good. And, and like, like, we get a beach scary. scene. Kind of scary. And, and like dark. the gross like skin suits. You. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, first, we can start. We got to pull our tarot. Pull the tarot. Pull the lever, cronk. Pull the lever, cronk. And you, you you, pull that little card. I know you have your astigmatism, so I'll look for the... You guys, I have officially been diagnosed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's an upside-down hermit. Oh, my God. It's Ozzy. It's Oz. It's Ozzy playing guitar okay. in the cemetery looking... Hot Sexy as hell. Hot. 31. Page 31. Okay. Inverted. Was, inverted. Okay. Wait, you mean reversed? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, I mean re- astigmatized. Astig- <laughs> I kept calling it, I kept calling it a stigma. 
stigma. And then, and then, and then they're like, you mean You never stigmatism. watched those commercials? The, um, what are the, you remember like the uh, mid 2000s commercials of like the astigmatism, the contact solution or whatever, the oh, girl? Yeah, but you have to understand as a kid with perfect vision, I never paid attention to the, those kinds of commercials. Well, and just so everyone's aware, I am still, I still do suffer from perfect vision. I just now have an, I don't know if I developed an astigmatism. She said that it's because a football shaped eye has two points of reflecting light instead of a perfect sphere. Go ahead. Okay. Football head. (laughs) Between all the gatherings, shindigs and hoot nannies, you're spreading yourself thinner than Brie. Like Brie cheese. I get it. Not Brie Larson. (laughs) I could probably- <laughs> <laughs> um, are you trying to busy your way out of dealing with something? If so, consider this a gentle reminder to knock it off. That's a nice sort of message. I don't really think I'm. I think I'm doing it the opposite. I think I'm. I think I'm doing some spring cleaning in my life. I think I'm do- being trying to be less busy. I feel like you're pretty busy. Well, that's not really, yeah. But I'm not like I'm not trying to be busy. If that makes sense, like I'm not adding right. things to my social calendar, and I. I yeah. I haven't traveled all summer, but all the summer travel is going to be August, September. So right. I'm really trying to do nothing during the weeks. Right, right. If I get COVID, bitch. <laughs> it's over. For the fourth time. Shut <laughs> up. Three. I've had, it would be for the fourth no, time. No, it wouldn't. It would be the third. I think I've had COVID three times. Nope. Twice. Twice. Maybe three. I Maybe don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, which is a symptom of having COVID three times. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well, shit. Time to lock the What doors. about you? Are you busying yourself? Um, I think I do, do, I do do that. I do do. Because if not, then the, uh, my brain is right. well, very not well. So, uh, it continues to be the summer <laughs> of what? <laughs> and why? why? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and when will it end? <laughs> and please stop. <laughs> yeah. The only constant in my life is death, you disaster and Buffy and death yeah. and death and Buffy and that Melanie Martinez video that we laugh at all the time. I <laughs> saw you guys watching it when I was out of town. It made me so happy. I was dying. It, is it makes so me laugh funny. every time. <laughs> it's so good. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I connect with that. Do you guys connect with that? Are you too busy? Stop. <laughs> Drop and roll. But why? Okay. Question for the culture. Why do you think they attributed Oz to that? I don't know. It's kind of an I odd feel like that's character. the opposite. <laughs> Like, I feel like he's, like, chill, not... Maybe that's the point. Maybe it's, like, to be right. grounded like Oz and not be busy. Because it's the reverse. Because yes. it was reverse. I know. It's always yeah. kind of spooky when we pick it up reverse. I always get nervous. Reverse, it reverse. It does seem not... It seems bad for some reason. Yeah. But maybe that's me. Maybe that's internalized shame. It's definitely that. <laughs> it usually always is. <laughs> it usually is. Well, go figure. Fish. Go um, figure. Go fish. Go- and let's I, dish. <laughs> the, the dish with fish. <laughs> um, go, so we... Go, Trish. I'm so sorry. Okay, okay. I'm good. Oh my I'm gosh, good. should we get Trisha Paytas on this podcast? Dude. Do you think she's when's ever her watched Buff- an episode no, listen, of Buffy? No, listen, listen. If we could get her to watch Buffy this holiday season, she will get... <laughs> She will hyperfixate and we'll start getting Buffy ASMR. Like we will, you know, she would be like cosplay. My heart is racing. Oh. That'd be so. How do we funny. contact her? She will. She'd answer. She'll my, contact us. She'll answer my. No, Instagram honestly, message. you know what I'll do? Oh, she'll do that, or we can buy something from Trisha's Poshmark and then in message. The notes. Yeah, in the notes <laughs> of the purchase. Come to Hellmouth Homos. Or start watching Buffy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just hear her talking. I don't know. Anytime I hear. Uh, never mind. <laughs> That's she how. Does a Giles cosplay? I would die. It would be so gender of her to do that too. So ge- it would be gender of me. I would <laughs> love to do that. Well, are we still doing it for Halloween? You'd look so fly in a tweed flew into suit. My eye when you yeah, said that, Destiny. So no, bad. <laughs> bad. Um, y'all let us know who should we be for Halloween. I would love to be Giles and you'd be Buffy. That's I would, what I think. And you'd look so good in a tweed suit. And you'd look so good as Buffy. With a high pony. <laughs> With a high pony. Come on. It'd be amazing. I would love that. And we already have the steak, so I don't have to get a steak. Exactly. I have glasses. <laughs> yeah. so oh, my God. We're, we're basically them. We got all the accessories. Yes. Got the astigmatism. I wonder if Daphne, I mean, Buffy has an astigmatism. <laughs> Sorry. No, she is 2020, mama. She's 2015, 20. like me. Which means not perfect, better than perfect. 
That's Buffy. <laughs> I'm going to claim that because that's the only thing that's like Better than really working. Eyesight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't even like my feet. I have nothing. I love Baze's feet. If you guys want to see them, let no. them know. They <laughs> no, will post. No, I won't. <laughs> I will not post my feet. Um, for free. Not for free. If you have like... A business proposition. Or like Buffy props. <laughs> I would exchange feet pics for like, oh a, like a steak. 100%. You know how much those go for? How much? Thousands. How much? How many thousands? One I saw was like 3,000, which is a lot That's of money. That's a lot of money. But. But I'm not saying I wouldn't save up. Exactly. I'm not saying I would go into my savings. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying like, yeah. If you have any leads on Buffy props. We got feet. <laughs> we have feet and I'm not afraid to show We have between the two of us, we have four, four. feet. <laughs> Maybe three. <laughs> we'll see. Um depending on four the on a good day. Yeah, on a good day. Um at the beach, the <laughs> sunny tail highs. <laughs> we gotta move on. <laughs> let's let's move um, on. At the beach. At the beach. I uh, love a beach scene, especially in high school. Keep going. It is fun, especially at it's night such with a little bonfire. Yeah, and Cute. as a kid who went to school by the beach, that was a vibe. Yeah, couldn't relate, but I'm glad I have you, your astigmatism eyes. Mm. Um, perspective. Yeah, your perspective. Astigmatized perspective. Astigmatized <laughs> perspective. Um, the Sunnydale swim team is celebrating their latest victory while Xander complains about having such a big celebration just for the swim team. Um, Buffy is sulking, uh, watching the ocean. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, keep going, keep going. Okay. Um, Cameron Walker, another member of the swim team, approaches Buffy and starts sputtering out poetic words. Which, like, Mm -hmm. it's a lot to take, but also, like, it kind of gives high school in terms of, like, the drama was there in high school, at least for, like... Of course. Right? It's, like, kids are just like He also looked like he was 35. That, I think, was the dissonance for me that wasn't working. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been cute if he wasn't a dick and 40. Yeah. (laughs) Buffy tries to uh, scare him off, but he says he's wanting to talk. Meanwhile, Jonathan, the little dork, yeah. the dork of the Fucking show. Loser. loser. Everyone named Jonathan is a loser. <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, Jonathan My first name is, is Jonathan. actually your, yes. yeah, um, is being dunked. Jonathan is being dunked in a bucket of ice water by members of the team. That's who we sh- what we should do for Halloween. I'll just dunk you in a bucket. <laughs> no, yeah, that's my official coming out <laughs> yeah. story of being Jonathan. Exactly. Um, Buffy rescues him and scares off the two bullying swimmers. However, Jonathan is angry with Buffy because his little, his little male ego is yeah. hurt. That's a, yeah, it's impressive he is able to hold on to an ego, though, at this point. I'm like, girl. I would let it go. I would let my ego die. What do you have to lose? Yeah. Um, the bullies, Dodd McAlvey and Gage Patron. Oh, yeah, they have weird names. Are very yeah. weird names. Dodd. And What's I'm like, Dodd? they're the bullies. <laughs> Sada. What's that, Dodd? Uh, they walk off and talk about how weird and scary Buffy is. Uh, <laughs> which is fucking hilarious. Dodd suddenly, I can't say that name. Dodd suddenly stops <laughs> while Gage keeps walking. He smells something bad. But goes on anyway. He walks by without seeing Dodd's body seemingly skinned apart. A mysterious Ew. creature walks into the sewer. The posture on the creature is really good. Like, it was very much like Creature from Black okay. Lagoon. Yes, for sure. And also, the um, costuming and like special effects in this episode was good. Good. This, that for literally looks just looked like skin. That looked like real skin. Looked real. Yeah, crazy. It was good. Really and they good. had a close up because they knew it looked good. I know. I know. No, so they really popped off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Them. I love this show. Budget. I'm telling you, like, I think like, like, and this isn't too, like, it's starting to hit different. And I was wondering, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've been wondering if like my love for the show would really hit ever and yeah. when, um, if at all. And I'm happy to say that it is starting to happen. And it's just taking me to the end of season two for it to like really I get really there. I really want to figure out a way that we could watch more. But more what? I want you to be able to like watch. I had to burp. Oh yeah, between recording podcast yeah. episodes, I know. But that's why. But it's hard to like, because we've done that before, and it is hard to like go back to like an episode when we want to talk about what's what we're like currently talking. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get that. But yeah, and also like part of I think the fun of the show, I assume, is like to be for like me to be able to like conjecture, like 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 guess yeah, about what's yeah, gonna yeah. happen you know what i mean and hypothesize I know, well, fuck the show yeah fuck this, fuck show. this show anyways no, but what we'll do what we'll do it. for angel is like 
I'll just be able to watch Angel whenever I want. Whenever that show comes out, no one will tell me. Well, you just told me at the end of season three, right? I didn't say that. Oh. You try to catch me in a lie. <laughs> you're a liar. You lie. You you're liar. liar. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, the next day, <laughs> Willow is teaching a class again. Unpaid, underage, uh, underappreciated. Willow. Oh, my God. Literally, Willow, the TV show. Underpaid, <laughs> underage, underappreciated. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Um, and as she's walking around checking people's work on their computers, she sees Gage playing solitaire instead. She tells him off, but he doesn't seem to care. After class, Principal Snyder... I cannot tell you... Tells Willow that they're still unable to find a replacement for Miss Calendar, so she'll have to continue subbing... She's happy about it. God knows why. Because she's a fucking yeah. dork. I love yeah. her. But girl, know your worth. Yeah. Um, and then Willow informs Snyder that Gage is failing because he doesn't give a fuck about school, pretty much. Fair. Um, and Snyder doesn't care and basically pressures Willow into giving him a higher grade than he deserves. It, dude. Crazy! If, it, if I didn't and like him before... Accurate. So oh, accurate. Especially for athletes? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm like, yeah. girl, it's high school swim. I know. Dude. I and watched the, this the, ep- the way the rest of this episode goes, I'm like, this is a high school swim team and y'all are murdering bitches. It is so crazy to me. And Alex, Molly, and I talked about that because it's like... Oh, yeah. You didn't say that. You watched it with me. I know. So fun. It was so fun. We were on the couch with our little blanket and our little snacks, little Cheez-Its. We had Cheez-Its. It was a good vibe. Cheez-Its. You didn't get um, have little Cheez-Its goldfish? and wine. Oh, we should have had goldfish. Gold, goldfish. Goldfish. Ugh. Okay. Well... Time to go back in time. Time to go back in time. Where's my time turner? <laughs> um, anyways, what was I going to say though? Oh, my high school, like literally someone would donate, someone would donate money and put in the note, like this is for like the theater department. Mm-hmm. And then the sports would take that check and cash it for a football team. Isn't that insane? Isn't that crazy? Awful, awful place. I mean, because we were like, we were like, we were in our one of the best football teams I in think- the county. So like it was very competitive. It is weird to care that much about high school sports. Sorry. It's sorry. It's also kind of weird pedo energy to it's it. It's bad. I'm not saying, and not, not in a sexual way, but like there's something about like the exploitation of children. Of children. That under is 18. To, it is so, <laughs> so weird. weird. It's so weird. And like, I don't know if culture. As I don't someone know if who our played culture, sports in high school, I'm saying it's weird. I just don't get it. And like, why does like nothing care. else get that energy? Why is it sports? Actually, my high school's theater department was like pretty. Hardcore. Not hardcore, but like just respected and like actually people care. Did you ever audition? Well, no, I my don't know. brother was like the star of like everything. Oh, I love that. I was just in choir for two years and I was like, this shit is yeah. gay. I can't gay. do this anymore. <laughs> I have too straight for this. No, um, I just didn't give a fuck in high school because I was depressed, but that's yeah. just me. Well, that's fair. Right. I was smoking cigs. Smoking cigs with like, I, with like your foxtail on what? your belt. <laughs> How dare you? I don't know. It could be a vibe. No, I had a Rasta belt. Oh. <laughs> never smoked weed. <laughs> That's awesome. That is Literally so awesome. Did you, paint, did you paint your nails black? Um, a li- Like here and there. I but love my that. mom got really scared when I did. Oh. I was like, well. She's understood. not a Christian. She's not a Christian. She's an Avril Lavigne stan. Yes. Um, uh, anyway, Buffy comes to school with Cameron, the mansplainer. Um, and they're like in the car and he tries to like, if Snyder doesn't die in Buffy, I don't know if I'll be able to keep watching <laughs> Buffy. Sorry. Keep going. Like I need him to be ripped into two parts. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> you said it so dead ass. You're like, <laughs> if Snyder doesn't die. <laughs> um, oh. yeah, well he tries to <laughs> grow her. So that's weird. oh my god, yeah, it's crazy uh, in the car, and then she basically oh beats my his god, ass in the literally car. locks her in the car. That oh, is so scary. That this, is so this scary. episode was, I was like, girl, it was scary. It was like a freaky episode. It was freaky, and it was just also scary because of how real it is. Yes, no, in terms and of like, like and like assault, not better. Yeah, assault towards women is yeah, like it was a lot in this episode. Um, it really was. Yeah. It really was. Um, but yeah, Snyder sees, sees what happens and basically blames everything on Buffy. Yeah. Um, and Cameron tells, which is annoying. Cause it's like, I don't know. I don't know still if he knows that she's the slayer. I think pr- he uh, does. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. So that just drives me crazy. Right. That would drive me crazy too. Cameron <laughs> tells coach Marin, the coach of the swim team 
and Snyder that Buffy was leading him on. The coach, after telling Nurse Greenlee, I think is her name, um, says, take care of my boy. Oh, the nurse in this episode is so... <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Take care of my boy, turns to Buffy and tells her she shouldn't dress so provocatively. And she's wearing a black tank top <laughs> and pants. <laughs> Meanwhile, this fucking bald bitch... <laughs> It's wearing. I hate this man so much. I hate him. He's horrifying. Hor- like just. But such a satisfying ending. ending. Mother. I have questions about the ending okay, that we great. can talk about. I agree. Um. Later, Buffy rants to Giles and her friends about what happened. Uh, Giles tells her that they found Dodd's remains on the beach. Um, and then we see uh, the guy Cameron in the sauna, hearing like weird noises. Um, and it's just the coach telling him to hit the showers. Uh, while everyone studies in the library, Xander goes for a drink. Um, him and Cameron kind of butt heads a little bit and Xander teases him that he got beat up by Buffy. Yeah. Um, which is super fucking funny. Um, Cameron screams and Xander rushes to the cafeteria. He finds the place in shambles with Cameron's skin on the ground. (laughs) Xander turns around and finds himself face to face with the creature responsible, a gill monster. Stinky. stinky, 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 stinky. So these boys are dropping like flies. I know. Well, it's like, and it's kind of confusing at first for a first time viewer. And I was like, of course, I was like, is that the same monster? Is that a new monster? Did he infect the other monster? There are a lot of questions at this point in the episode. Lots of questions. Lots of questions. And also this creature design literally looks like the Canima from Teen Wolf. And there's like a whole episode where, so I don't want to spoil it for anyone out there that's like going to watch Teen Wolf. I'm not going to spoil who the Kenema is, but it's like one of those high school students yeah. and you don't know who like this fish monster is. And there's like, there's this whole scene like where the kids are in the pool and he's like, like crawling around on the pool deck. Like it's Ew. literally creepy and it's just like this episode. Huh. And I'm just saying like the guy who, the guy who wrote Teen Wolf is like clearly a huge fan of Buffy. Yeah. And that's why he also cast mother Sarah Michelle mother Geller in, that in the spinoff. Shitty spinoff. I couldn't but she watch slayed. it. Of course she's The slayed. three episodes I watched, she slayed. I can't believe that show came and went so fast. It would be so sad to work on a project like that. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. where it's like people forgot even happened. I'm like, girl, you're going to do that, not a Buffy. I can't believe she did that and not a Buffy. But do you think it's the, do you think it's the yeah. Joss Whedon effect? Yeah. Because there was um, something think- in the works. But e- even when, in 2018... Sorry, I'm taking on my slippers. I'm going to yeah, run Yeah, we're getting into this. We're getting into in it. In 2018, it was confirmed that like a... Re- not a spinoff, but like maybe like a remake. There weren't a lot of details was going to happen of Buffy. Um, and then obviously XYZ happened right. with <clears throat> we the devil. Yeah. Um, but even before that, SMG has said multiple times she was never going to do it again because she was tired. She did like a lot of she shit. She worked on it for years and years and years She was life. the crutch of this show and like acted her ass off. Yeah. Did a lot of stunts, like did a lot of like actual work and it was like exhausting and she was pretty much like, I can't do this anymore. But they yeah. were going to do an animated series um, after the show ended, but that also didn't take off. There is a trailer on YouTube though and it's really cute. I'm really sad it never happened. It was good. I want to watch she, it. But she didn't even voice it. Everyone else came back to voice it except her. <laughs> she was like tired. It's so she was hard. Done. It's Mother so, was done. As a fan, it is, it is kind of hard not to get like upset upset about that you know, know what i mean because yeah. you because like, we don't know we don't know anything that she went through no for sure and also like quiet. even if she didn't go through anything yeah like, even if she like didn't have any like tr- direct traumas associated with the show and even yeah. if she had a good time like, let's say she had the most amazing time and a super easy gig for her she it is it is well She's within buffy. her rights to be like i don't want to yeah of course but as a fan it sometimes that is hard to be like totally but what do you mean i know what you're about and it'd be so fun just to like do like a thing you know what i mean but whatever a thing <sighs> you know i can't we, we need to have... finish the show i need to like google <laughs> things i there are things i need to know as like as like someone who hyper fixates on things well there's that a I need lot that happens in the show that would make for a good not spinoff but like it could there could be so many possibilities it just mm. sucks that it's owned by the worst fucking piece oh, of I was shit gonna ask you in who, Hollywood. Does he still have the rights? Yeah, I think he still writes on the comics. Which is I don't read them anymore cuz I can't I I'm just I can't okay. give them more money, but 
I think they still, I think he still works on the. We uh, need to, we need to start a GoFundMe. I could be wrong. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. We need to start a GoFundMe, raise a bunch of money, and have the rights transferred to buy, me and buy the rights. Just to us. <laughs> Just the Hellmouth homos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, so if you want to invest, hit us up. Um, or it could be a cross collab with Slayer Fest. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> My Bloody Judy. Judy. Yeah, let's do that. Um, in the, oh gosh, this episode is so long. In the library, Cordy sketches the creature that Xander saw before running off. And she did a like wonderful a job. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> I know she's a little artiste. She's an artiste. What I can't she her. do? God, I love her. I love her God, so I love her. I cannot wait to meet her at a con one day. I know. I, I think ha- she's gonna be here in November. For what? I don't remember what it's called. Mm. Day of the De- Day of the Dead Con. That sounds great. Do, I we could get be tickets? wrong. <laughs> we could let's look. But at I'm the... scared to meet her because, like, what if I get spoiled on something? What would you get spoiled on? I don't know. Uh, just the, 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 the five more seasons of television I haven't seen? No. We'll just say, you know what? Miss Charisma Carpenter. This is Chase. They've never <laughs> seen... They're currently watching Buffy for the first time. Please do not say anything. No spoilers. Can you sign this photo? <laughs> I love that we think that we'll have this much time to talk to her because <laughs> you know to like think that thing yeah. where they just rush you in. No, you, you wouldn't even... With your astigmatism, you wouldn't even see her. <laughs> <laughs> I am officially like... Yeah, I'm... Representation matters. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> I literally know dead ass. Like she told My me, I had, she told me I had a, an astigmatism. First of all, I literally thought she said I have stigmatism. I didn't know it was astigmatism. an astigmatism. Yeah. And I go, I go, oh my god. And she was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't feel so good. I have to go call my partner. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> <break> the news. <laughs> she was. I was like, You're wait, nauseous. is that? I said, so um, how my common is that? Floor. And she literally. <laughs> She's like, bitch, it's 99% yeah, of the Yeah, she earth. literally said, oh, it's really common. I said, okay, so I'm like, okay. And she's like, oh, yes, geez. you're okay. I was so, you guys, my first time getting an eye exam, I was You've never got an eye exam before? In my life. Oh, my God. I, why why would I get the, one? the air in your eye? No, but they had the thing oh, where I put my worst. chin on the thing, yeah, and then yeah. they're like, look at this and follow yeah. this, and they're like moving things around. I bitch, felt like I was in Blade Runner in not a fun way. And then like they wanted to dial in the pupils, and so I said, no, I'm not doing that. So then they we, they said, well, you have to take a picture of the back of your eye. eye. So I had to like put get my really close to the machine, and then it fl- flashed like a really bright light. And they did the thing bitch. where they put they like test your reflexes, and they punch your eyelashes, and you go, ooh. Well, you're lucky they didn't, they use some, usually like, a puff air into your eye for some I don't know what to test your reflexes probably it's probably that thing where they like trickle your you like they tickle your eyelash to see like how you but blink it, I hate it it freaks me out every it was single time. one of the scariest appointments I've ever been to and I will go maybe in five years like it's important to get your eyes you tested to. but like I mean, they they were like astounded by the fact that I've never been. They're like, so when was your last eye exam? I was like, I don't think I've ever had one. But when people, <laughs> okay, we do not have to keep talking about this. Yeah, but when yeah. people like, when <laughs> welcome to our eye exam I'm podcast. Title the episode: My diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, um, I only have eyes for you. For you, um, I know we should have talked about this last time, but um, you know what? Buffy and Willow return, <laughs> having been informed that Cameron and Dodd were the two best swimmers on the team. Gage is being, uh, Gage is probably going to be like next. Fish. Yeah. Right. Buffy is assigned to Shadow Gage, um, while Willow interrogates Jonathan. And according to Jonathan, he indeed wanted revenge, but he achieved it by peeing in the pool before practice. Disgusting. <laughs> Have you ever peed in a pool? Yeah, but not as an adult. I th- Actually, I think in Mexico I did. <gasps> Were you drunk? Yeah, but like I, because th- like I think it's one of those things the where it's like was too far. The chlorine, the, but but that's why you have chlorine. Right, exactly, and also as long like as you're away from people. I don't care. Exactly, and the, I genuinely don't care. Yeah, and the other thing too is it was a huge pool, like a huge pool, and like so we the just like there were like all these wasted adults. So I was like, there's no way I'm not the only Pissing, one like farting. peeing. So yeah. like. I might as well like not put myself through extra work just to like what go pee in a bathroom. I hate peeing in the pool. It doesn't feel right. According to Jonathan, <laughs> uh, oh yeah, he wanted revenge. Okay, Xander overhears Mar- Coach Marin and Snyder chatting. They need another swimmer, or they won't be eligible for the competition. They don't even care if the guy can swim as long as he shows up for practice. The next day, Gage... Which is so creepy looking back on that because it's like they don't care if the guy can swim because he doesn't need to. It doesn't doesn't need to have to be able to swim. I don't know what their game... Anyway. And um, like, I just want to make it very clear. 
coaches would do this in the re- in the real world. Yes, if, this was if they could, this would absolutely if happen. They, if we I mean, in a lot of ways, they do with steroids and stuff. Yes, so. yeah, I think they talk about that in, a, in this episode, right? Yeah, well, it's I think it's a metaphor to steroids. Right, right. Well, I mean, it we was supposed living... to be steroids, but it had like a metaphysical twist because of the hell mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, if we were living about 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 a hair a hair mouth, <laughs> living about a hair mouth. <laughs> if we were living above a hell if mouth, we were living. <laughs> if we were living above the hell mouth, honey, can you even imagine no. what the world would do? The next day, Gage grows suspicious of Buffy when she follows him around. At the bronze that night, Buffy is confronted by Gage and she attempts to cover it up but fails. And she tells him that his life is in danger, but he doesn't believe her and calls her a psycho bitch to... Oh, I really didn't like to that. W- ...when Angel shows up. Okay. Um, and encounters uh, uh, Angel in the parking lot and they complain Ooh, yeah, about Buffy about together. This. Yeah. Uh, then Angel turns into his vamp face and bites him, intending to sire Gage um, and recruit him for his war against Buffy. However, Angel quickly stops and spits the blood out. Um, and Buffy Ew, comes. Salty. <laughs> <laughs> yucky. Um, Buffy comes to Gage's rescue, and Gage asks Buffy to walk him home, which is really hot. Yeah. I was like, I want Buffy to walk me yes. home. Yeah. And she's like, Ugh, fine. And I was like, so I'm so jealous I of know. that bitch. I just can't. The, the mental fortitude of this woman the to be able to fortitude of this woman <laughs> 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 to be able to withstand the like sexism, the sexism, but also having to like mommy everyone. Yeah, like I don't know. I mean, like I could do. I mean, I guess there just comes a point where you just have to deal. Which honestly, girl, is, you're telling me it's a good. I know that's what I say. It's like kind of like a nice metaphor for life it's like there just comes a point where you just gotta fucking deal with it yeah. you just gotta deal with that's it buffy. it that's is buffy. literally buffy oh i love her i love her the following day buffy sits okay this is why i wanted to talk about this episode the following day buffy sits in on swim practice along with cordy and willow oh yeah the three girls wonder what could be killing off the swimmers and buffy suspects gage had steroids in his blood Cordy comments on a cute new addition to the swim team, soon realizing <gasps> that it's Xander. I loved. And he did look good. She was right to goggle, ogle. He walks over and informs them that he just made the team. There's that moment where they're doing the pan of his body. Mm. I was like, it's Xander. I didn't, expe- I didn't expect it to be Xander's little face. A little little face. I, I, do, I feel weird doting on him, though, because... I just love him. Why do you feel weird? Well, because is he problematic or no? The actor? Yeah. Oh, he's horrible. Oh, see, I don't know these things. But like, doesn't, I mean. Whatever. At this point, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Slay. Love that. Okay. Um, it's just, I, it is always funny to me too when like I'm watching any TV show and there's like the nerd or like yeah. the unpopular guy when you know that would be like the most popular guy in the room. Yeah. Because he's so hot. Yeah. I mean, Xander's hot. Yes. He is. He's hot in this episode for he's sure. He's like conventionally attractive. Mm-hmm. He is. I think he's just not my type. I think that's my issue. But I know you love. I know you love a little Xander. I know you got a little crush on Xander. But that's perfect because, like, you to his looks, yes. But I would never have a crush on him because he's foul. Yeah, but he's also he just, gets better. He's but... more stupid than anything. Mm. It's stupidity rooted in misogyny, right? But I don't like stupid people. So, so true. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. What is the um, American horror story? Th- normal people scare. Me. Yeah, stupid people <laughs> scare me. That we should. Dude, those T-shirts were crazy dude, back in the day. Oh my god! Or all monsters are human. Oh, Ew. God. So embarrassing. So cringy. So, oh. so awkward. So awkward. <laughs> Cordy is delighted that she's dating a member of the Sunnydale swim team while Buffy and Willow tease him for being almost naked. Um, Later, as the team soaks in the sauna, Xander continues to babble, but no one pays attention. Claws come up through a grate out of sight from the team. Creepy. I got the chills. I know. It was creepy. It's good. It's good. And the monster effects are good. Like the costumes are amazing. I know. 
Um, while Buffy waits for Gage to leave the locker room, she hears him yell. She charges in and finds him with a gill monster. Um, Gage suddenly cries out in pain and falls to the ground. He rips open his shirt and Buffy watches in horror as he becomes the monster. It was shot himself. so well. It was shot so well. It yeah. was perfect. No notes. I know. It was a gag. Um, as Buffy fights the two monsters off, one grabs her from behind and bites her in the arm. Suddenly, Coach Marin saves Buffy just by bursting into the room. Although Marin is alone and unarmed, the gill monsters flee. Buffy is sent to the nurse, and um, Marin is told that the members of his team are becoming the monsters. Buffy and Giles go hunting for them in the sewers, but they fail to find any. Meanwhile, Xander again hits the sauna, asking where and how he can get the steroids. Um, his fellow swimmers tell him that he's already getting some because it's in, in the this steam. Oh, uh, it's so scary. It's so scary. It's so scary. And again, it's just perfectly believable for me. Did your high school have a sauna? I'm trying to think. I think we probably had some we sort of a steam room, but it wasn't like a, it wasn't like a nice what sauna. What does it even do besides put steroids in your <laughs> Besides turn you into fish people? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Have you ever been in a sauna? No. I love saunas. I've never been in one. Oh my god. It's just I like a good way to sweat. Sweating. It's oh I love sweating. Ugh. Oh my god, I love sweating. Do you like sweating? <laughs> I don't even cook because I hate being in the kitchen because it's so that hot. is so funny. I hate it. I don't know why. Yeah, I like it. It makes you feel well, it's you're just from like California. Yeah, yeah, it's just my blood. Like, it's in my blood. Yeah. Oh my god, I just licked my microphone Ooh. on accident. Oh my god. Oh my Rewind god. freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Nurse Greenlee tries to end Marin's experiment. So this is where it gets heated. Um, as he's been, and the nurse is like that. Nurse was acting her ass off. Alex Molly and I were like, oh my god. And it's so was she was slaying. She yeah. was like so funny, but she was she just was she was a she was a good cast. She I know, did good. She really was. Um, uh, as he's been attempting to improve his team's performance with the steroids. And for what, dude? You are a fucking Girl, loser. You I, are I such a loser. I literally made, I said, all this for a high school s- a swim team championship. It does not matter. I kind of like the idea, though, Touch of like... grass. Of like, I kind of like the idea, though, of like the Hellmouth kind of like persuading him to do yeah. that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like kind of making him like lose his mind or like become hyper sense. fixated or obsessed with that. Yeah. No, that definitely... That's In that's order valid. to spawn valid. fish people. Valid. I think it's valid. And we finally went back and watched that episode, the fraternity episode that's like really creepy and gross, the frat episode, because uh, I had never seen it. And we watched, we went back and watched that since that was one I missed. And, um, and the, the, I was thinking about it too. It's like, I like to think of the hell mouth. similar th- to this episode. Very similar. Yeah. yeah totally. In Violence Against Women. Yep. Um, and yeah, men being Perfect. crazy. Um, but I do like the idea of like the hell mouth, like even with that episode, kind of like pushing people to occultism and mm-hmm. things like that. Maybe like, we do have a hell mouth. B- b- yes. Yes. A hundred percent, yes. Um, probably in all major cities. Great. DC, New York, LA, Chai. Chicago. For sure, we have one here. Good. The uh, <laughs> she uh, she gets thrown to the fish. Oh yes. Sad. Stark and sad, and also stupid, dumb. Yeah. Sad. Um. Oh, the nurse. The nurse. Who else? I thought you were going to say Buffy. Well, there is a really bad, like, <laughs> in, oh, yeah. like the insinuation line. that, like, the nurse was, like, big, so the fish wouldn't want to yes. assault her. They yeah. want to eat her. Yeah. <laughs> like, Buffy's and then, the opposite. And then, no, like, they literally uh, make, the, they make, the, they make the, same, they make it the same insinuation the other way once they put Buffy in there. Where it's like, a, like, boys got needs or whatever. I like, know. It's crazy. So fucking it's crazy. It's so disgusting. I mean, you could, yeah. Oof, gross. Uh, well... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So basically, yeah, Buffy gets thrown into shortly after into the well <laughs> sewer. What the is this? Sewer in the the well. I think it's the school sewer. Um, and yeah, uh, the coach says the that tank. they already had their dinner. Um, she's there because boys have other needs, which is. The, I'm just saying that I, I love watching this man's fate. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. No, the logic isn't there. And also, he was just being creepy. And also... Disgusting. But she looked really hot in the water. I have a, I have a She did. And <laughs> honestly, I love that we got like a water fight in Buffy. Like, I love that we got like a I sequence know. in water. Because like, we, I don't think we've had one up to this point. I know. Well, before that happens, I have a couple other notes. 
Xander enters the locker room. Oh, because this is really cute. Xander enters the, oh, the locker yeah, room to yeah. check and see if he's becoming scaly. Um, a new gill monster emerges from the locker room and jumps into the pool. Cordy, thinking it's Xander, starts lamenting it's about so his face. It's so cute. And then she says, I understand if you want to see other fish. Yeah. She's so And she's cute. like, she's like, I, but I still like, like, love I you. I still want to make it work. So freaking cute. It's I love cute. seeing the softer side of Cordy. It's so cute. I love them together so much, and I want them to be together forever. I'm closing my eyes. I want them to be together forever. I want them to be happy together. I want them to bring each other's like best um, traits out of each other, and I want them to be happy. I open my eyes. Open my eyes. I oppenheimered my eyes. Xander suddenly reappears beside her right before the monster of Sean attacks Cordy. They flee back to the library. Xander decides that since Buffy hasn't returned, he should go after her. Um, he meets up with Coach Marin and fights him for the gun, which is... Yeah. Reach for the gun, the gun, the gun. Exactly. Which, you know, <laughs> Xander disarms <laughs> Marin and knocks him out uh, and looks down in the hole to see Buffy up to her waist in sewer water, surrounded by gill monsters who are about to attack her. So he Scary. pulls her out before they can do so. But girl... And they're like, grab. She looked amazing. Oh my god, she looks so good. Dude, it's insane. I with mean, the cross necklace. How can you look that hot? I know. <laughs> Ever? Anyone? I agree. Answer I agree. me. Someone answer <laughs> me. How do you look that perfect? Kind of scary when they're all grabbing her little feet too. A little feet too. <laughs> A little feet too. <laughs> We've talked enough about feet. We well, this episode. <laughs> Never enough. <laughs> Never enough. Coach Marin wakes up and bashes Xander's head with a pipe, incapacitating him. Um, Dude, and then this guy to has same. to be fired at the minimum. Also, okay, since we're near nearing the end, did you want these boys to enter the competition looking like this? I, I think what it was. was the I think it was. I think I don't think he knew they were going to start turning turning into. Fish. into yeah. You think? Yeah, I think. I didn't. He say that. He said something about that. In the I don't remember. I, thought, I don't remember either. I'm pretty sure he. My assumption is that he was giving them some steroids and then wasn't realizing that they're going to turn into fish monsters. Maybe that's. But then it was like too late to reverse it, and they were doing so well. So he was just like, maybe I can just like. Mm. Oh, so know. they've or been on the steroids to... the whole season, you think? And yeah, just and then started... it started happening t- towards the uh, end. Maybe that's what happened. I don't that's remember. That's what I think it is. Because, that makes sense. Yeah. That would make more sense, honestly. Um, so, yeah, he tries to hit Buffy, but she ducks and trips him. She tries to catch him before he falls into the hole. Doesn't work out. Um, being no match for the gill monsters, uh, Buffy can only observe as they approach him and watch his demise. And then, okay, here's where I am a little grossed out. It's when I think Xander says those boys really love their coach. Hated that line. I don't like that. Hated that line. I hated the line. I just don't. That feels homophobic and gay at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> like it, in yeah. a bad way. Homo, yeah. A hundred percent homo and also uh, like homophobic. Yeah. Um, and also just like, I don't really do well with like the normalization Assault? of yeah, but specifically between like teacher man. student and man. Yes. It just yes. doesn't I don't know. Yeah, but I'm just saying like there's like yeah, it's just it's too much. Also like I'm glad he met his demise, but I'm like I don't know if we need that, you know? But I'm thinking too deep into it. I'm deep in it. Oh, I loved it. It's like the perfect villain moment where yeah. it's like where it's like Gaston falls off the castle because he was trying to kill the beast and then he kills himself. Do you know what I mean? It's like yes. he created these monsters and he's destroyed by these monsters. I'm like, No, I love that. Love that. It. Just the way in which Yeah, and also Xander's little comment. Xander is so gay. Xander Girl, is like I'm everything saying. he's like everything he says is the insinuation is always like I don't know, he's like he's He thinks too hard about gay stuff. He does. He does. It's like when conservatives are like don't see the Barbie movie it's gay or like yeah. don't like go to a Or it's drag like when show. all the Kens are so obsessed with each other that they can't help but to sing it sing literally break Ken. out and dance. Yeah. yeah. Kender. But he's like he's like the annoying Ken. Yes. Like the Simulu one. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely had a more he was like more of a misogynistic Ken. Yeah, totally. Not not Ryan Gosling Ken. No, no. He's Himbo Ken. Yeah. The next day, (laughs) the next, can I, can I finish? Literally no. Thank you guys so much for watching (laughs) this episode. 
My my pop smells. Um, the next day, everyone recaps. Xander and the surviving swim team members are given treatments created by the hospital's toxicology lab, I guess. Well, that will stop. If the Principal Snyder is involved in helping with those steroids, I'm sure they'll be fine because I, I, I know that man is working governmental levels. Levels, the levels. Levels, levels, levels. Do you remember that song? Yeah, what is that? Jonas Nick Jonas. Jonas. Yeah, that's what I thought. What? What, what was that? What? We need to revisit that song as a culture. You were the Joe Bro. I know, but it, Joe Bro ho. Yeah. But it's just like so crazy to me that there, he released a song that took the world by storm. That he literally, needs to be quiet. It just went, levels, levels, levels. <laughs> like, what? Like, he needs to be quiet. He does. He and needs he, to be Ever silenced. since he got married, he is. Good. Period. She's keeping him in check. She is. Priyanka. Meanwhile, the gill monsters swim out into the ocean in a very this, scary. This they better come creepy, back. They better swim like, back to Sunnyvale at some point. It just like the music was so like dark. It is so funny because like it, yeah. But I'm like, oh, they're home. It's gonna keep. <laughs> it's just insane because it's like. It's, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to start like a, like a little like school of fish or they're going to like, Aww. it was, and it was something about it just <laughs> felt so, it was like one of those like perfect 90s shots where it's like, just like they're awkwardly just like, framed and they're just going, <laughs> there's just like, like people in out. suits yeah. and they're like zooming out and it's like music is yeah. playing and they're just like quietly swimming out it's to so see funny. it. It was like bizarre. <laughs> I'm also like, damn, how many more high school kids have to die or be turned into fish? I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Levels, I levels, I levels. really like the you know the way that like the um Oz is looking at the tree living statue and was like it's like her eyes are following me. I need there to be another scene on the beach by the ocean where like you see one of them swimming like in the background. Fin. Like we need to there I that was such a pronounced exit scene for them that I can't help but wonder are they gonna have an enter scene? And just like that. And just like that. The episode is over. I'm glad we talked about it, though. I think it's funny. It's a fun episode. Yeah, it is. It's just fun. fun. This was definitely like this is like also like a cozy episode that I could see myself going back to watch. Yeah, definitely. It's just fun. But you know what's not going to be cozy and fun? The finale. The finale. That we're watching tonight and recording next week for a week after release. Um, right. I think it comes out August twenty uh, third. Yeah. Yes. August 23rd. So we'll be talking Becoming Parts 1 and 2, oh, two-part dude. season finale of season two. And it's going to be one episode, right? We're doing that. Yes, we're going to do one episode. So one it's going to be episode. a big it's mama be juicy. juicy. Oh, I'm going to have notes on notes on notes on notes We're probably going to need snacks. Oh, my God. That's cute. Yes. Ticket intermission. Um, t- uh, tissues. Oh, I don't want to cry. Well. But I do. Crying feels good. I feel like I'm going to cry talking about it. So it'll be long, juicy, a long, juicy ep. And it, yeah, expect that on August 23rd. And we're going to finish season two, which is crazy because I feel like it's going by fast, but it's not. Yeah, I don't. I, I have a good feeling. Like, I feel like season three is going to hit really hard for me. I love season three. I think it's going to hit I love hard. season three. It's one of my top. I have a seasons. good feeling about it. It's so good. Um, I'm hungry for it. Hungry for the finales. Hungry for season three. And we're going to watch it together. And it's going to be... The finale. The premiere. The premiere. And the finale. We're going to watch it all. We're going to watch it all on a both. Um, and, you know, we're so excited. We hope you're excited. <laughs> if you are excited, <laughs> let us know by sounding off in the comments on our YouTube page. And also, um, I'm going to ask again in the next episode, but... Make sure you leave comments about what episodes you absolutely need yes. us to talk about in season three. Because we tried to do that this season, but it was a little too structured. Yeah. Because we need to be. But if there are episodes that must be talked about that yeah. I don't have written down yet, let us know. Yeah. What? Well, okay. Yeah. So yeah, if you have a favorite episode, let us know. I was gonna say we could post like what we what we plan on talking about for season three, but I could say it in the first episode. But also just let us know why not. Yeah. Just let us know your favorite episode. Yeah. That sounds good. You can do that on the comments on YouTube, or you can do that via email at fearqueers at gmail.com, or even on X at LGBTQ, oh no, <laughs> Instagram at LGBTQVHS. Um, on X. <laughs> Blake, Girl, called, Blake called it X on Ironically no. the other day, and I go, Blake, you have to call it Twitter. I don't go on there anymore. I love the downfall of that app, and I love that I got off before it was cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. We love you guys, right? Yeah. Slay. Of course we love you. Uh, of course.
course, of course you we stupid love bitch. you. <laughs> and until, until next, next time, time, the finale. Slay fries. I want to throw up. <laughs>